To balance this equation, calcium hydroxide plus aluminum sulfate, let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one calcium atom, and then we have this OH. It's a polyatomic ion. It's here, and it stays together in this reaction. So we can count this as just one item. We have two times the one hydroxides. That'll make this a lot easier to balance. We have two aluminums. SO4, that's the sulfate ion. We have three of these SO4s here, so we'll put a three here. On the product side, we have one calcium, three hydroxides, one aluminum, and then one sulfate. Let's start by balancing the aluminum atoms. We have two here and one here. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum hydroxide. So we have one aluminum times the two. So now we have two, those are balanced, and then three hydroxides times the two, three times two, that gives us six of those. Let's balance the hydroxides next. We have three here and two here, so we'll put a three in front of the calcium hydroxide. So we have one calcium times three. That gives us three of those. But the two hydroxides times three, two times three, that gives us six. So we've balanced the hydroxides. Why don't we balance the calciums? And I think that'll balance everything for us. So if we put a three in front of the calcium sulfate, one times three, that's three. Calciums are balanced. One sulfate times three, and the sulfates are balanced. So you can see by counting these polyatomic ions as one item, if they appear on both sides of the equation, it makes it a lot easier. We don't have to count up all these separate oxygens and hydrogens and sulfurs. And that not only makes it easier to balance, we're less prone to make errors. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaOH2 plus Al2SO4-3. Thanks for watching.